Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, I am Santina. On this channel, I do lifestyle, fashion, business tips and tricks and also faith. If you love this type of content, consider subscribing to the channel and join the Bougie Babe family. You're in for a treat and an interactive video, so ensure that you stay tuned entirely. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, comment in the comment section as well, and ensure that you are subscribed. Enough of me rambling, let's dive right into today's video. Hey guys, so just I want to get some stuff to make banana bread. Exit. Enter here. Is she doing something? So I'm just getting some last minute recipe stuff. Okay, so all purpose flour for the baking stuff. I know I'm gonna need some mixed pies. I haven't baked banana bread in a long while. I used to bake it and sell it in my community. But gone are the days. So, so the mixed spice, um, let me tell you the vinegar, vanilla. I'm not seeing any mixed spice. Do you want to pass one? Not me taking up the wrong floor. Alright, apparently they don't have mixed spice in here, which is crazy. It's not in the season section. I'm gonna get unsalted water and the vanilla and milk. All right, so definitely need these for overseas. So you have the mild hot. I'm gonna get two. That's all we have so far. Hey guys, so I am about to bake some banana bread. We have some overripe bananas for a while, a whole bunch, and not now, yes, not now, that's right. So I'm gonna be baking some banana bread. I've been telling Matthew I'm gonna bake banana bread for almost three years now, or maybe more. So he's like, I'm not going to set my mind on it because you've been saying that you're gonna make banana bread for a while now and I know every time you say it, you don't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna prove him wrong. It's very late, but I'm still gonna hurry and whip it up. It should not take long. I'm gonna show y'all some snippets of me actually doing the banana bread and stuff and the taste is all that nice. Some overripe bananas that I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna be adding it to the mixer. Thank you. 
Hey guys, good morning. So, Granny had done both all to get a quick dip. And then I'm gonna head back up. It's after six, by the way. I was not expecting anybody to be here, really. But it seems as if they're having a little class session. Hey guys, so we're currently at Dumpot Beach. <laughs> Wanted to come to the beach at least before I leave. Been here for like what a week now, and I'm just getting the chance to. And I literally have my flight in the next three hours or so. So I won't be doing anything extra in terms of packing and stuff just to go back home, shower, and leave you. Like Jamaica is such a beautiful place. And then I mentioned this is a free beach, I can't swim. There are persons here that are actually doing swimming lessons. I wasn't expecting much people to be here since it's very early. It's like after six, I have a cut on my foot and the salt water is not giving me any form of justice. I have like maybe 30 minutes here and that's about it. <sighs> hey guys, so currently headed home. That was literally that was literally like 20 minutes out. But that's a good that's a I wouldn't say deep because I didn't want to get my hair wet. But yeah, a good little half deep. Currently headed up. So, 
currently headed up and then while I'm at the airport I'll chat with you guys so bye for now try to speak with an agent to see if something can be overlooked because it's literally the first time I'm actually traveling in Fusikway. It's the first time I'm traveling and I don't feel agitated or rushed. Maybe it's the fact that I am not taking a lot of stuff. So traveling very light. Um, as I know, I wouldn't need to bring up clothing or stuff like that. Prices aren't too bad. Oh, Chloe, baby. This already have my favorite scent. That's the Chloe by Chloe. I thought the prices were good, but 1.6 fluid ounce is literally 120 something dollars. Huh? I don't think it's that expensive actually, and especially for that size. guys just went in I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right correct me if I'm wrong Baiju or Biju so they have a Cartier representative there I thought they would have like braces and stuff but it's just um, watches because I was curious to know if they would actually have the braces and the cost don't really like watches like that and many of them could have even afford a Cartier but just curious Um, can I get 
Everybody else have a connecting flight, so we need to ask all of the questions of them. I'm like, what the hell? I'm just going to go outside because I can't miss your shot too. Outside, I'm right. to get to wherever I live at here <laughs> it's four minutes away so it shouldn't take long and I was trying to get the taxi service on the car it said zero dollar forty cents per minute but when I asked the guy he was selling me 78 bucks hello mm -hmm. I just told him I'm gonna get an Uber instead because that's a little bit more it's way cheaper than what he charge so we're gonna do that and then guys when i'm home the place is still bright out i'm gonna grab something to eat because i couldn't find anywhere at the airport to grab anything and i haven't eaten all day so we're currently headed there just now i'm gonna take a change as i had mentioned it's still chilly so i'm gonna do a quick stop get something to eat and head back up pretty Guys, the place is ridiculously slow. Not like. Hey guys, good morning. So it is the next day. Currently at work. Guess what? It's Chrissy's birthday. So I'm gonna have a video. Yeah, but Manona here in the background. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a little celebration for her, just to celebrate her. And all the good things that she has been doing for us and all of that nitty gritty. I love you guys. I'm busy, <laughs> a busy morning. So I'm going to put the camera back up and show you guys snippets of the actual celebration. Not work. So stay tuned. Right. Over medium speaking. Okay guys, so currently on lunch. Finished with breakfast, but we don't have much covers. Waiting on Denver. <laughs> Really? Yeah, you can't you can't have the black man I'm here hiding. Alright, so beat hummus. And then that double leg. It's Christy's birthday. <laughs> so the birthday girl cooking up a storm. Good old curry mutton. Can't wait for later. Curry goat, not mutton, straight goat, mama. Curry goat, not mutton, my goat. bad. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, people. Pat rich and nice. Mm-hmm. Alright, we're gonna put it in. I cry so many nights. Alright, people. Rice pot. Chicken. Hey y'all, so it has been a few days. I am back in the US. So a little recap on my little trip to Jamaica. It was very fun filled but really short. So um, my trip back was a little bit hectic. I had mentioned previously that I was having some issues with immigration in terms of my connecting flights. It was not, I had like three hours um, to get to my next flight. However, the line was so long. I have never seen lines so long before in my entire life. 
I had went to one of the supports, like, you know, the person that are always advising which line to go in or which immigration officer to go to. And I asked if I could um, be pushed up further, being that my flight, I would have been in the line a long time and I didn't want it to miss my flight. And the lady gonna tell me, say, everybody else have connecting flights and blah, blah, blah. I must try, ask everyone in the line to give me a pass to go. And I'm like, I just took it up on myself to just go through the line. I'm gonna ask somebody because obviously I would be in the line if I had enough time, which I did not. So I'm gonna just walk straight up to the front of the line. And that is how I actually got through. Almost missed my flight, but I did not. God is good. <laughs> um, I wanted to touch base with you guys in terms of the flight booking. Like a lot of persons will pay for tickets um, expecting, like paying for window seats. I didn't do anything like that. And surprisingly for both flights, I had a window seat, which was perfect. I didn't have to waste money trying to get through to a window seat, which, I don't know, maybe kind of like that, like God was on my side in that regard. So I didn't have an official outro for the vlog. So this is me trying to close it out. I really do hope that you guys had enjoyed watching it as much as I did filming and editing it. Um, for the bougie babes, ensure that you leave me some comments in the comment section. I realize that I am not getting enough comments or likes for the videos, but this definitely helps to push my videos um, out to the algorithm so that other persons can watch and interact as well. This will help my channel a lot, so I am imploring you guys to like, comment, and ensure that you are subscribed. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bougie babes!